Yeah, that's the cult mentality. Mm. It's like when, when uh, fans of, I don't know, the Jonas Brothers and Justin Bieber and they oh. see pictures of the guys with the girl and the tabloids saying, oh my god, is that his girlfriend? They don't want to believe that that's the girlfriend because <laughs> they still hope they're going to meet them in the street one day and it's going to be true love and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so just, there, there could be a picture of them having sex with people and they're still going to be like, no, 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 this isn't real, this isn't real, this isn't happening, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, pure <laughs> denial. <laughs> Takes good form sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's the problem. I mean, I, I spent so long. I mean, I don't know about um, you two if you've gone for any sort of you know similar things in terms of belief. I think we all do to a degree. But um, myself, it, it, you know, it's like when I believed in um, like mediumship, communication with the dead, um, I used it as my support mechanism. You know, because, oh, well, you know, that worked for me, you know, it made me think, well, maybe I'm special. That's what, you know, different beliefs very often play on. And, uh, you know, I see the Destonians as being very much the same. They use the idea of, oh, we're striving for the future. We're creating a better world by talking about vaginoplasty. And 2012. So we're making a better world. So we're, you know, we're great. We're great people. It's all about that kind of um, self-esteem bullshit, I suppose. Yeah, they they used to do that a lot a while ago. I don't know if they still do that. Mm. That they tell people, like really firm on the forum, that when they are completely paranoid or alienate their families they're just special they see the truth they know <laughs> what the world is really like all the other people are having the problems but they are really special and they've got to stick with it yeah and that's the thing that all the losers want to hear like when you've ever been i don't know in high school uh i think just whedon said that in his audio commentary to buffy that everyone perceives high school or at least most people most people as Yourself and a group of friends being the odd one out, and everyone else are the really weird people, but they yeah. exclude you on, on not reasonable grounds. Like, you're special, this is why you're alienated. Mm. And that's it. Yeah, I think that's definitely the way uh, the way they seem to work in many of the different uh, different cults. It's the only way they can work, I suppose. You know, self-justification and everything. Because it has to be justified. Oh, why am I following Bernard Pullman? Because I'm special. You know, <laughs> I'm creating a better world. And it's like constant affirmations, affirmations to make sure they uh, they don't turn back to reality, I suppose. And actually look at their lives. At some point. I suppose they will, yeah. In the end. Well, I mean, even, even if uh, it doesn't work out with Destiny, I... Like when I was, uh, I can't remember which, uh, what's his name I was talking to. Uh, he, he was one of the Destonians that I talked to. Mm. And he, he talked to me about how he w- he had tried so many things before and that Destiny was the right thing. And and I, I think I responded to him and I was like, don't you see that that is a pattern? You went from one one bad thing to another bad thing to another bad. You're trying out all this stuff, and you don't you don't. And for some reason, you see destiny as the the end when it's just the next bump on the road. <laughs> yeah, they never see that. This one's for real. It's like uh, women in in codependent relationships or any kind of weird relationships when they do relationship hopping. They always go like, oh, all the, I don't know, 15 guys before, they were douchebags, but this one, yeah. this Prince Charming. <laughs> and that guy dumps them, and they're like, oh, maybe he wasn't. But that next guy over there on the street, he's Prince Charming, and they just keep on hoping. Because <laughs> hope keeps you going. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way they can really uh, deal with it, you know, in the end. Having to... Uh, That's so sad. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a bit pathetic, really, isn't it? You know, I mean, it's 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 okay to have hope for things, but it, it, I mean, it, it's just I just I don't understand why people have to put so much blind faith into something. Mm, mm. Um, because I, they have no reason to approve. Mm. You know, and and I 
and it's and it's something against people that 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 have faith, but you know there comes a time when you know uh, you can't you can't argue the evidence, you know, and while I might I'm like I personally still have a belief that there there is a God. Yeah. I'm not going to sit there and say, like, I know, because I don't know. And that's what faith is for. It's having a belief in something you don't know is there. That's and very you true. You can't argue it any further than that. You, there's no sense in trying to prove it, because, you know, the, the entire point of it was, is to believe, not to, to know. <laughs> yeah, you know, with that, tra- uh, that train of logic, I mean, it's very true, because... I've spoken to this guy called um, Thick Shades recently. I had a long conversation on Skype, and he was trying to prove God, but then he was saying it's a test of faith. But if it's a test of faith, and he has proof, it's not a test of faith, because the test is faith without proof. So logically, from a Christian stance, if you have proof of God, you can't say it's then a test of faith. So it's really contradictory uh, logic with some of the uh, more, um, well, more out there versions of Christianity, you know? Mm. Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of people, like, misconstrued, uh, like, Christianity as well. They misunderstand the whole, uh, like, nature of it, really. I mean, most of it isn't, you know so far-fetched, we all too often see uh, people debating uh, Christianity as a whole, and they focus on the extremist elements, as they do with Islam or any, indeed any other belief. They focus on the extremes, because with them, they can say in a general like stance, we know what they do. It's you know kind of like a they uh, kind of mentality. I'm, be- I'm beginning to sound a bit like a, a Destonian slightly, because it is a, a cult mentality to really... Um, focus on an entire group in general, isn't it? Really, that's you know, kind of cult mentality within a lot of uh, a lot of the atheist community, a lot of the uh, in response, a lot of the theist community as well. You know, different branches, even the terms atheist community, theist community, as if you know, people who don't have God, they're all united. People who do believe in God, they're all united. You know, as if all Muslims, Christians, Jews. Um, the polytheistic beliefs like uh, Hinduism, paganism, etc., as if they're united as one. But obviously, <clears throat> it's uh, well, crass generalization, you know, and that's the problem. I don't think I'd fit into any of those categories then. <laughs> no, I don't like to fit into a category. I thought I like to be an individual. You know, I think that's the important thing because with that, you don't have to. Uh, follow a guru, a leader, or a, an intellectual speaker, or supposed intellectual, pseudo-intellectual or something. You know, you can just make up your own mind with your own rationality in the end. And I think that's, you know, it's really important to what I do here on YouTube, I suppose. You know, mm-hmm. not to be part of the uh, part of the cattle, you know? Not to be part of the uh, part of the herd, you know? Yeah. Mm. Also, if you idealize people of all things, like gurus or, I don't know, spokespeople of some kind, they can never live up to these imaginary standards that you have. Very true. It just doesn't work. Pe- people are people. Mm. Like, for, for, exa- for example, I really adore Jane Austen, but that woman was mean. Really? Like, seriously. That was really mean anti-social person for the biggest part but she covered it re- really really well and she was very smart so I forgive her but you cannot really idealize people you can say I like this and that aspect of their work mm. but you cannot like the entirety of the person all the time because they're still people same with uh, cult leaders uh, people in Destiny for example they have to make excuses for their for their leader and say it's not the leader but still they worship him like he is yeah. They have to make excuses for his gambling and his rudeness and his not making sense when he's talking and his bad language and everything. Mm. I think this kind of kind, kind of exhausting. 